In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite blitzing concepts. This blitz has been good for years in Madden. I think this is going to be one of the best blitzes in Madden 23. It's also one of the best blitzes in Madden 22 if ran properly. This is out of the nickel 245 defense. You can find this formation in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Now, if you're watching the video, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. So if you're looking to get better at Madden 22, as you prepare for Madden 23, uh, we've got a lot of content that we're doing right now in preparation for Madden 23. Just learning, going back to basics, different concepts, different tools. And I remember a interview, or not interview, but a question that was asked back several years ago. And a guy that I really look up to a lot in the Madden community, did a lot for the Madden community, S. Gibbs, um, on an episode of This Week in Madden, which was their weekly broadcast show uh, several years ago, was asked the question, you know, where do I start with blitzing? Where do I start? How do I go about it? What's the best tip that you have uh, for me starting out trying to learn how to lab blitzes? And his answer was actually, I think, profoundly simple. Blitz the nickelback. That was his answer. Blitz the nickelback. Blitz the nickel corner, blitz the dime slot backs, blitz the slot corners, and you will have success. Well, that actual question was asked, I believe, in Madden 13 or in Madden 25, which was 2014. And the best blitz in Madden 17 was the nickel 245 nickel blitz 2. Um, you could run this sensual concept from several different formations. I remember in Madden 13, one of the best blitzes in the game was the nickel strong NB blitz 3. Um, year over year, the best blitzes in the game are found in blitzing the nickel corner. This is also true of DB Fire 2, Dime 146, some of those concepts. And so today I wanted to break down the original Nickel Blitz 2 for you out of Nickel 245 and show you why I think Nickel 245 is going to make a massive um, impact in Madden 23 due to the fact of the alignment of the linebackers, something that I think that people are sleeping on right now. So Nickel Blitz 2, if you want to learn my entire Nickel 245 defensive ebook, that full defense is available at my Patreon page. The link to sign up for that's in the description. It's only $10 to sign up for that. Gets you access to all of our 30 offensive and defensive ebooks we released over the course of the Madden 22 season. In addition to that, we're also going to be releasing a Madden 23 training camp series, which is going to help, help equip you for day one launch of Madden 23, equip you with full offensive schemes, defensive schemes, learning principles, tactics, things like that. So if you want to get access to that, really take a deep dive at the game. Be sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, and the link is down below. Nickel Blitz 2. So this blitz is super effective in my opinion, and it's actually profoundly simple. All we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to hit R1. And actually, I apologize. I forgot to turn auto flip off. Um, we're going to hit R1, and we're going to click the right joystick down. And we actually want to have default alignment. You could run it on base alignment if you want to, uh, but we're going to have default alignment, so we're going to pinch our defense. And then what you're going to see here is what I what I which can do with nickel two four five because these linebackers are linebackers, we can spread them, and why this is effective is this is going to widen their angles out at the quarterback. Then from there we can crash our line down. That's not even going to affect the linebackers, and now you get this real wide stack looping concept as you can see right there that can come around the edge. Now this blitz is much more effective in in Madden twenty three. Now, if you wanted to, you could literally just do this and leave them there. And you see, you get that. See how you get that nice rush angle from that guy right there. I think this is one of the best blitzes in the game because it's super simple. Literally, um, he's just in a in a really, uh, I think, advantageous position because of the split of the linebacker versus the split of the line. So nickel blitz to really simple. Just pinch your defense. You can literally stop there. If you don't want to do anything else, just pinch your defense. Cause you see how he gets that wide angle. And then that's going to kind of force the guard back inside. So, you know, real simple blitz. If you want to base align this defense, you certainly can, um, especially against compression sets. Cause you'll see he won't get caught up as bad. And as you can see, it's a super simple blitz. This core concept absolutely dominated Madden 17. This concept, I believe, could be very dominant in Madden 23, and I think we need to come back to it. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you want to learn the entire Nickel 245 defense, there's a link down in the description where you can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks.